the Dr. Paul brings to this campaign sense, sanity, and sensitivity. That's Osama Siblani, publisher of the largest Arab American newspaper in the U.S., the Arab American News. He's telling a crowd of Ron Paul supporters his paper has endorsed the Texas congressman for president. He is the only candidate that brings us together while others are dividing us apart. Siblani's Michigan-based newspaper has influence with Arab Americans across the country. He spoke at a Ron Paul rally organized by the University of Michigan's Arab Student Union in Dearborn, a city with one of the nation's highest concentrations of Arab Americans. Arab American leaders say in recent years, the Republican and Democratic parties have treated their community like a liability in national elections, but not Ron Paul. The only person in the, in the presidential race that has really reached out to the Arab American community is Ron Paul. And, uh, and we see a lot of excitement in the community, relatively speaking, uh, for his campaign. Thank you. Thank you very much. Other Arab American national groups have also endorsed Ron Paul, largely for his stance on civil liberties and his foreign policy. Paul has pledged to limit the power of government to spy on its own people, and he wants to quickly end the war in Afghanistan. What we need is a new foreign policy based on non-intervention, minding our own business, obeying the Constitution. Those policies resonated with Arab Americans at the rally in Dearborn. I think war should be stopped immediately, and I think Ron Paul is the only candidate that's able to do so. His message appeals to the Arab American because uh, it is pro-American and it's not pro-Israeli or pro-Zionist. At least three million Arab Americans live in the U.S. Not enough to elect a candidate, but enough to influence an election. Arab American leaders say nearly a million reside in politically important states, like California, New York and New Jersey, whose primary election are yet to come. <laughs> Osama Siblani says his paper's endorsement is meant to put the Republican and Democratic parties on notice that they can't continue to ignore the Arab voting bloc in the U.S. And we're not going to be intimidated, frankly speaking. We can find our ways, you know, one way or the other, into those parties uh, because we can punish them or we can reward them. We need to vote for Dr. Paul and also we need to give him money. <laughs> Arab American groups say they plan to rally their members and open their pocketbooks in support of Ron Paul all the way to the Republican National Convention. They don't expect Paul to win the nomination, but through their endorsement, they hope their voice will be heard by both political parties, no matter who gets elected. Mona Rabi, VOA News, Washington.